Okay, you know what? Um, yeah, um, this, this is a very nerdy thing for me to be doing. Yeah, it's about midnight for me, and I am in my bedroom talking about cables. And after this, I'll be editing a video about cables and ports on technology. So I just have to accept that. But anyway, we're all nerds. You're nerds. Sorry, I mean that in the best possible way. There is a problem that definitely needs to be addressed. As we're coming into this new generation of tech, I don't know what you can call it, the 2020s. We're back in the 20s again. That's cool, right? And we're having our tech companies try to fix a major problem, which is just being complicated with cables. Because, you know, you got your HDMI ports, your USB ports, your audio jacks, Ethernet ports. There's a ton of ports on the back of your computer, right? And the assumption companies are going with now is that maybe we can eliminate all the different types of ports and just have one port not per device but one type of port across all devices that will make it very easy to connect things so now you don't have to worry about plugging it into the right port and this all started back when the iPhone 5 came out with the lightning jack that they put on all iPhone it's just a reversible port that charges sends data and if you have duet display on your iPads now it can send video data and if you have some accessories the lightning port can even have external storage when you need it to. It wasn't meant for computer usage, but it was kind of a neat idea that Apple had to have a reversible port that can do lots of different things, kind of like a thinner version of USB. But then USB came back, right? It's made a comeback, and Apple's even accepted it with their new MacBooks and eventually the MacBook Pros. A USB-C port, which can transfer high amounts of power, video feed, data, even to headphones. The idea is it can do anything. So that's why when they released the 12-inch MacBook and they only had room for one port they use the USB-C port because that could do anything right and now it looks like other companies are also adapting the USB-C port and the MacBook Pros will also have multiple USB-C ports but here's the problem I noticed when I was using USB-C to charge my MacBook it is also reversible right it looks like it fits into lightning jacks so when untech savvy people are gonna start switching to USB-C which is what USB-C is for to help people not get confused because you know techies like us we know what HDMI is we know what USB is that's not complicated to us the purpose with USB-C is to simplify it for the rest of the tech family everyone else who's not tech savvy and saying what port does this cable go into they're trying to make that easier the problem is we're using a cable that looks like it plugs into all of their phones and yet it doesn't so this is deceiving to have a USB-C cable that goes into a lightning iPhone it looks like it should fit you'll hold them next to each other and you're like oh yeah it works doesn't also people might think hey I need to charge my laptop or whatever I have that has USB-C and then they see their lightning cord and go oh let me try nope so the problem is the purpose of this port was to avoid confusion and I think if we don't switch away from lightning ports and cables it's going to just cause more confusion because now you can't tell which port goes where it won't be a problem for us techies but I'm thinking of everyone in the bigger picture someone needs to represent these people so what I'm calling for is I know the iPhone 7 is gonna have a lightning jack I've accepted that so I'm not saying they need to change it at the last minute what I'm saying is on the iPhone 8 or whatever comes next we need to start considering it's time to change the port once again and I think this is fair to say why because we had the 30 pin connector for five generations of iPhone first iPhone iPhone 3g iPhone 3gs iPhone 4 iPhone 4s and then the 5 that's when we got lightning so we had five 30 pin iPhones so let's count again iPhone 5 iPhone 5s slash 5c iPhone 6 iPhone 6 plus iPhone 6s 6s plus se's in there somewhere and then seven that can be the fifth one so now we've had another five I think it's time to say get rid of lightning. Let's go all USB-C. We know how fast it can charge. It charges things incredibly well. We know it can transfer lots of amounts of data and headphones. What's the point of adding a bunch of lightning headphones in the iPhone 7, which is a possibility now, if next year we're going to be making the switch to USB-C everywhere, which if we do finally abandon lightning, this will be so nice. You won't have to worry about buying the right kind of cable or finding an adapter. Everything will just be USB-C to USB-C and you can plug in your phone that way your tablet your laptop your desktops monitors I don't care it does everything and it does it well so let's say goodbye to lightning because we need to change and we can't have two reversible ports that look like they should go into each other this is gonna defeat the whole purpose of having a simple port that does all okay that's my little rant hope you tolerated it that's your that's your bit of nerd truth that I want to drop on you drop the lightning let's go with USB-C forever thanks this is your Apple Sheep here and I will see you in the next one